How you going guys? If you've got like an Android phone here and you're getting uh, like Android Auto set up, you're getting a bit stuck. It's a little bit harder sometimes because obviously there's like Google phones, Samsung phones, like so many different brands and they're all a bit like different uh, how they connect up. But, but basically the first thing you want to do is go into Bluetooth here, search for the device, um, make sure sometimes you just need to turn the Bluetooth on off on your device here. Uh, here it is here, come up. We'll pair that, four zeros. So that's paired, so that's come green. So the, uh, it's not, so the Bluetooth is hooked up now, which is fine. And that's where that's sort of hook up like most people get to, but they don't get the Android Auto coming up. Now, the Android Auto should uh, pop up from this app here called like Speedplay. So you can see actually your phone, when that there comes up on top of your phone, it's actually thinking about it. Um, so it says I'm like, looking for Android Auto now. So it looks like it's gonna work, might work this time, but you can see nothing's happened not yet. Um, and what this can mean is, uh, like sometimes we just need to like restart the phone and that will work. If uh, restarting the, f the phone doesn't work, you can see, and uh, this will go connect and it'll show Android Auto when it works. Um, you can grab a USB cable Plug it into your CarPlay, CarPlay and like Android Auto. One coming from the back of the unit. Plug this in down here. The bottom of the phone. Alright, so I want to go into there. Um, and I've plugged in a USB now, and now it should tell me on here when I plug a USB in. I didn't plug it in, hang on. Normally gives you an option saying you've plugged something in here. Which it's not, and this is why we're making this like video, because at times this happens and it's a bit like, it's like, it's like annoying. So now we're going to leave that I like plugged in. And we're going to open up Speedplay. Since there's still nothing's happening, so we're going to restart the phone. So just press the power button, restart the phone. Now we're unsure why this happens. On like some phones, it pairs up. It would have happened already. Um, on other phones, it like doesn't. It like takes some time. It must just be something to do with uh, the Android uh, like structure that uh, each of the phone manufacturers I use. So this is a Google Pixel 5. Um, and a different model of Google Pixel just uh, connected straight away. So it's very unusual, but this is just what you have to do. And it'll only be for the first time you connect it up, and after that, you should be all good to go. So I always keep an eye at the top here, because you basically want to see the two little uh, like, uh, Android Auto things coming up. still starting up as you can see it's probably it's already hooked to our Bluetooth um, doesn't mean much so I just wait a little while you can open up speed play on here. Now what I want to do is I want to pull out, the, oh, oh, and now it's happened. So something's happening there, so that's what we wanted to see. So that was probably about, and we're getting them some, some like icons from the top. That's come up and that's come up. So you go continue on here now. Um, there isn't any uh, like rhyme or reason for why this happens, but that's just what you can do to get it set up. Now I can pull this USB cable out. Um, and you can see we still have Android Auto. So it's on wireless Android Auto, it just helped have the cable in, so we actually started up now. Um, sometimes you don't have to put the cable in, just try restarting your phone and leave your phone for like a, so like a minute or so and you should be okay. Also, like sometimes when you uh, do plug in uh, like the USB, it'll say USB plugged in here, you go like to sort of manage and you can uh, change it to Android Auto because it could just be set for USB charging. 
So that's just a few troubleshooting steps there for uh, an Android auto hooked up.